Hi everybody, it's Kelly from Lock Bar Knits coming to you on a rather cloudy uh, January 2nd, 2020. So Happy New Year everybody. Um, I am doing this setup a little differently. I'm just turning this a little bit, maybe, maybe there. <laughs> maybe I'll turn me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is actually going to be a relatively shorter uh, video because I'm doing this on my phone, which I've never done before. Um, I usually do it on the computer with camera set up, blah, 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 blah. But I noticed while doing Vlogmas that the camera creates a much sharper image. And until I can get the MacBook Pro saved up for and all of that good stuff, I'm going to try things this way. I don't know if it'll work, but we're going to give it a go. So I just wanted to pop in. This is my regularly scheduled podcast, but because of Vlogmas and a little off kilter um, time wise, but I thought I would just pop in and kind of do a uh, recap of things that got made. And also, I don't know if this lighting's working. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So uh, I just wanted to kind of go over my Make 9 and things that I had gotten, uh, gotten, things I had gotten, <laughs> things I had completed. <laughs> kind of over Christmas. So a lot of those things have been gifted, but I did show, I think I showed them during uh, Vlogmas. So if there's anything you want to check out, you can always zip back there. Uh, thanks so much to everybody who uh, checked out all the Vlogmas videos uh, as well. We picked up some new viewers. So thank you to all the new and returning viewers. You guys uh, are just amazing. And I'm so happy that you keep checking us out uh, episode after episode, which by the way, I think this is episode 68, I think. <laughs> I really don't remember. That's horrible. I meant to check before. I had checked last week, but now I forget. So I think it's 68. So thanks to all of uh, you guys who um, have joined us since Vlogmas and to all the new and returning viewers, you guys are fantastic. And we are going to just jump right in. So, and I'm really going to try to learn not to look at the red dot over here. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> if you watch Vlogmas, you know the red dot is my nemesis. So, first off, uh, let's just honestly see, look, red dot. See, as soon as I see it, it's like a mental thing. Forget I'm going to show you my finished object. La, da, da. Let's see how far back I can go. I don't know how far back I can get. Okay. So <laughs> this is my second super simple summer sweater, which is not a summer sweater because it's made out of wool. <laughs> so I used, this isn't the right color scheme, but I used uh, Wool Local by Erica Knight and I used it in the grit stone and I think this was Rose, Rosemont, I think was the name of it. So uh, this is my second one. I made this longer. My other one I think came to about here. So what I did was I just added an extra uh, color um, uh, stripe to the, to the bottom. <laughs> Use your words, Kelly. And uh, also on the cuffs. So because I didn't feel like the... Am I up close enough? <laughs> I didn't feel like the uh, waist was as long as I wanted it to be on my previous one. Um, but then I was wearing it over the holidays and I thought, you know what? I'm fine with that. And you know what I think it was? Was that um, after my shoulder surgery last year or I guess the end of 2018 um I was out of commission obviously I couldn't work out for about since my injury in July I couldn't work out very well and then also um I couldn't start working out again until March and then work out crazy blah 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 long story short I packed on some poundage <laughs> and because um I'm over 50 now that poundage landed right on my belly. <laughs> so, 
so which never happened before any time I've ever put on weight. So that was a new experience I'd rather not repeat. Um, so I think I was just feeling really self-conscious about that. So anything that kind of exposed my, my belly, um, was just made me uncomfortable. Like I, I just wasn't feeling comfortable in my own skin. Um, but now that I've kind of gotten not all of it, but you know, a good chunk <laughs> of it off for lack of a better word. Uh, that's what it felt like. It just felt like a chunk of flab. Oh my God. <laughs> So anyway, um, I think now that, that, that's starting to shrink down, I just started to feel a little more comfortable in my own skin and it didn't, the shorter crop, more cropped, not that it was a crop top, but it was kind of more cropped than this one, um, was fine. So I'm not going to take that back. I'm going to leave it as it is. So that this way I have kind of like an option. <laughs> So, uh, but I really do like, and one thing I like about this is going back again. Uh, it's not fitted, like it's loose, but it's not boxy. So it's just got that kind of nice ease to it that I really like and split him. Um, and I love, I'm not a pink person, but I really like kind of the, the <laughs> words. <laughs> pale kind of the paler pink with the light gray so I really like kind of how that looks I love this knit it was such a simple it's all there's no like shoulder um seam pick up stitches you literally you just put the stitches on hold and it, if you are looking for a first sweater if you've never knitted a sweater before I can't excuse me I can't recommend this one highly enough and the hiccups I think I inherited them from the dog. Every time she gets tired, she gets the hiccups. Uh, so anyway, I, um, are they gone now? <laughs> uh, so I'm really happy. I find this is my first time actually wearing it, wearing it because I, I was blocking it the last couple of days waiting for it to dry. And I was like, I just hurry up and dry so I can do the podcast. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so this is one of my finished makes. The other are two half objects. So my brother-in-law's gigantic sock. I mean, honestly. So this was made out of the Briggs and Little Tuffy. And I didn't do the second one because I wanted him to try it on and make sure that it fit first because it just, it just was, it seemed gigantic to me. <laughs> and I, I was just, I was worried. <laughs> so anyway, he tried it on, it fits perfect. So uh, now I'm gonna knit him up the second one, um, which I hated, I hated knitting with Briggs and Little. It is a great yarn for things like this. He wanted like kind of a tough, durable um sock like the last ones I had made him like oh my god probably 15 years ago they just bit the dust um because they accidentally got lit on fire <laughs> that's a that's a that's a story for another day um so anyways these are done well not done half done so I have to do the second one and then um, if any of you were watching Vlogmas, you will know that I did my sister a hat kind of in the sock monkey colors. And then at the end of it, I kind of got the idea like, I don't know, was it two days before Christmas? I thought, hey, <laughs> I've got enough uh, yarn left over to make her a pair of shorty socks. So, um, and I thought maybe I could get it done before Christmas because it was DK weight, but I did get one done. <laughs> so uh, I didn't get this done before Christmas though, but I did send her a picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> But uh, this is sort of the reverse colors <laughs> of what her husband got. Only this was using the um, Sugar Bush Festivity. Festivity or festive? I think it's festivity uh, line and they're not blocked yet. And I did something a little wonky 
here. I think I must have like crossed a stitch or something. Somebody's sending me messages. I'm using my work phone, so if there's any kind of buzzing going on, I don't know. Um, like, so I'm going to go in and just kind of, uh, like tighten that up, put some darn, darn, darn it, darn it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what I did there. It almost looks like I crossed a stitch in a weird way, but this is sort of, it's ribbing and then you, um, do like, a some, Oh my God. <laughs> when was the last time you podcast, Kelly? <laughs> then you do like kind of a little knit thing and then you do more ribbing, but kind of off center. So you can kind of, if I do it this way, I think you can sort of see. So this ribbing up here is between these two ribs. And then I just sort of, um, and I took this from uh, idea from Coop Knits. I think they did one more row if I remember correctly uh but I just I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough um of the gray left so I did two rows and then I kind of did my regular vanilla sock for the rest of it but I had to modify it which is why I didn't have one sock done before the um before Christmas because when I realized I had to modify it I made a few mistakes because I was just in my head following the fingering weight sock pattern that I normally do, uh, which of course, <laughs> so that made the heel like down to here. And so I fixed that, but then as I was kind of making this section here, that looked too wide. So I had to figure out the shaping to kind of narrow this area. But in the end, it's all done and I made notes so I can replicate it. So those two, are kind of my priority because I want to get those gifts done because you know Christmas is over and I'm sure they want their gifts. <laughs> so this was actually part of my sister's gift and then this was in my brother-in-law's stocking. So I'm trying to figure out what what trumps what does um does like the gift trump the stocking gift I don't know so I'm just gonna try to get them both done really quickly um and my brother-in-law's in worsted weight almost an Aran weight actually and the my sister's is in a DK weight so they knit up a lot quicker uh, than if it was fingering weight so uh then I do have a new cast on which brings us to the make nine so, um, I figured this might be the easiest way to do it. Let's see if this works. Uh, I did a little, let's see if I can get this. I did a little thing in my bullet journal of my make nine. Uh, so my first cast on, because I finished this sweater, is obviously going to be a sweater. So I cast on this one which is Childhood by Anka Strict, I think is how you say her name. Um, so one of my projects over the holidays was putting all of my yarn stash into Ravelry so that when I went to do a pattern, I could just say use stash, I could see what I had available and know whether or not I needed to purchase yarn for the project or if I already had it in my stash. And I think that's going to really help me get my stash used up because I got a lot of stash and I really want to start using it because I bought this beautiful yarn and it's sitting here. <laughs> so I've got all of my yarn, I've got all of my worsted weight, I've got all of my DK, I've got all of my sweaters quantity yarn. The only thing I have left to actually put into my stash on Ravelry is uh, la, 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 this and this, which is my single skein sock yarn. 
Um, and at first I wasn't going to do that, but then I thought, you know what, I think I would really like to see how much of my stash I can actually use this year. And I thought the best way to obviously do that would be to track it in Ravelry. So I am going to haul all of the stuff out over the next couple of days and add that to my stash. The other thing I did as I was going through was looking at my, um, it, it gave me an opportunity to kind of look at my yarn and say, you know, am I really going to use this? Because at the time I bought it and I, you know, for whatever reason, obviously I liked it. It's beautiful yarn. But I think I was getting a little more strict with myself on whether or not I really thought I was going to knit with it. So for some of it, I ended up pulling it out because I was like, you know what? My mom would really like this. And the other stuff I put under will um, sell or swap for uh, on Ravelry when you're doing your stash, you have that. So if any of you want to take a look, see if there's anything there you might want. Uh, some of it is like leftover from uh, sweater quantity yarn that I've used up uh, in other projects. And I'm thinking realistically, I've got three balls of something left or two balls of something left. Am I really going to use it? And I'm probably not. So I figured if anybody's looking, uh, you know, like if you run out or if you, you know, you need a certain color, but you, you know, whatever. So if you want, pop on over there, have a look. Uh, so yeah, so the first one that's up is -da, this one here, which is childhood. I have been eyeballing this since it came out. I love it. It just looks like such a comfy sweater. This is my bullet journal, by the way. It's from Dingbats. And um, I talked about this on my on one of my Vlogmases. But it basically, um, they give a certain amount of the sale proceeds from the sale. And you can kind of choose like different areas. So based on the book that you purchase, that's where the money goes. And I think it's the World Wildlife Federation that it goes to. Uh, so I got the coral reef for this one. I don't know which one I'm going to get next. There was one with a polar bear on it, I think, at one point. Anyway, an elephant, there's one with an elephant on it that I actually look really like because you know, I try to slide that in there with it in the camera. camera. Uh, so anyway, neither here nor there. <laughs> I have cast on the childhood. So I've started with the neck, which is a turtleneck. And I'm going to try to do this without knocking off my stitches. Um, oops. <laughs> so, so here's what I have done so far. Actually, I suppose it would go like this because this is the top of the, the turtleneck. And I think I have to go for four and a half or four and a quarter inches. Um, or desired length, depending on how long um, of a turn like you want. I think what they're, they've stated is um, is going to be fine for for what I want. So I am using up Stash from Last Year's Christmas, which is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. By the way, I don't know how well the autofocus on this works, so um, bear with me. I also haven't figured out how like I have a Yeti microphone which is really good and the microphone on this phone is actually pretty good I noticed through Vlogmas but um I think the Yeti would probably be better but I haven't figured out how I can somehow get my Yeti to work with my iPhone and I don't even know if I can but hopefully the sound quality is uh good so this is um nitpicks stroll tweed I don't know if that's focusing. It looks like it's focusing, but I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> and this is the uh, Lost Lake Heather colorway. And I don't know if that's focusing at all. But it's this beautiful, soft, like almost like a soft, mossy green. Like what you're seeing on screen, at least what I'm seeing on screen, is really kind of true to color and it's it's really knitting up beautifully it's really soft uh there's some um once i get past <laughs> the neck there is some neck shaping and 
I'm reading the instructions and I'm like, okay, this is kind of taking some tech, using some techniques I'm not sure I'm 100% familiar with. So what I plan on doing is I am going to put in a lifeline when I finish the neck part and before, right before I start the, uh, the shaping and go from there. Because if I screw up, then I can just kind of pull it back to the lifeline. So uh, rather than make a mess and yeah, because <laughs> that would just be bad. So uh, that's what I've cast on so far. Now, the other thing, I think what I'm going to do when I'm putting this stash on um, Ravelry, <laughs> brain fart, is, um, da -da 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 -da, find my little spot again is then kind of look at, so actually let's just kind of review the make nine here, shall we? Uh, so, and I'm doing this with my glasses on and uh, where are my glasses? Here we are. <laughs> because who are we kidding? Oh, wow, these are dirty. <laughs> okay, oh, hey, look, there I am. Um, so we've got The Childhood by Anna Strick. Um, I am making a second weekender and I am making this out of Brooklyn Tweed Shelter that I bought when I was in Dublin. Um, the Color Cray Shawl by Tammy Gore, which I am using um, Sweet Paprika. They had a blanking. They have a, a, a mini skein. Um, and I think I'm going in oranges and I'm going to use that. And I think what I was originally going to do was use some two different uh, colors for the main color. And I'm not sure if I'm still going to do that or not. I may use uh, a pale gray, possibly. I'm gonna, I got to, I got to think about that one a bit. Um, then next up is the gable by Hannah Fettig and I'm going to use, what did I say I was going to use for that? I think, oh, I think that's the Barrett wool, which do I have that here? Da, 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 da. Oh, no, I think that's a, no, that's not a, yes, it is up there. Um, let me see if, all right, so. Nope, gotta keep going. <laughs> okay, this is precariously balanced. So this is the uh, Barrett wool that my husband got me for, coming back, <laughs> it's a bumpy ride, <laughs> uh, that he got me for Christmas and that's in the Folkstone, I think it's called, colorway, which is what I had asked for. So God bless him. Um, so that is going to be the, I should probably hold these a little closer, uh, the Gable by Hannah Fettig. This was uh, the reversible arm warmers that was by Church Mouse uh, Yarns and Tees, which I want to make. Uh, this is going to be my leftover stash buster, which is the Habitation Throw by Helen Stewart, which was part of her 2019 knit vent. Uh, this is some... Um, the Everyday Slow G Beanie by Dragon Horde Yarn um, Designs. And I'm probably gonna make several of these. I don't know if I'm gonna make them all with mohair, but I do have a little mohair left over. I have one skein of mohair left over. And I also have some bundles. Um, let's see if I can find them. Like sort of bundles like that from Handmaiden in different colors, which have uh, kind of like the mohair and the yarn. They're sort of all twisted together there. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so I have two or three of these, um, which I think I will use for the Sochi Beanie, and I'm probably gonna get more than one out of it. So I may give some as gifts. Uh, and then, the Gramps Revive Cardigan by Isabel Kramer, which I'm going to use my Rocco. La, la, la. I don't remember where those ones went. Um, 
Quechua. I just totally butchered that. I've got like little <laughs> little dots all over. It's like I got sprayed with water or something. So I'm looking through little dots. Um, but it's the one I've made scarves out of it before. I don't know if I have any of it kicking around down here. Okay. Anyway, um, I'll put the name of it down below. And then the uh, Calame um, Cal. <laughs> I really, I don't know my words. Uh, by uh, Kristen from Vaughn Vine. And I haven't decided if I'm going to use it, uh, make it with the, the beads or without. But I think um, one of the reasons I wanted to put this stash on uh, Ravelry, push those back in. Ugh. is that for um, items like this, where it's like not necessarily a pair of socks or whatever, I can kind of look at my stash rate online and decide what, what yarn I want to use for it. Um, and I'm not sure if this takes one or two skeins. It's kind of hard to tell. I didn't look at the pattern yet. But um, anyway, so that's my make nine. Now, granted, all of this is like subject to change on a whim because, you know, patterns come out through the year and you're like, I need to have that in my wardrobe now. And I know you can all relate. <laughs> so that is the plan, um, but it's almost more of a guideline. Uh, there are things about that list. I do wanna get four sweaters minimum made this year. I definitely want one of them to be a um, cardigan because I haven't made a button-up cardigan yet. Um, we, if you were with me last year, you knew, know what the last cardigan debacle was, which was also an Isabel Kramer, um, the JC cardigan. I'm still determined to do that cardigan. Um, this time I'm going to put in a lifeline <laughs> when I get to the part in the yoke that has the design in it. Um, I'm still going to do that. I love that sweater. I have still got the bag of stuff here. Is this it? Yep. I've got the yarn. <laughs> I'm ready to go. So, um, whether it'll be the Gramps Revive or the JC I do, that's all going to kind of, I think, depend on my mood. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. Um, but I definitely want to do uh, a cowl. I want to do a shawl. Um, but I also want to get done some other little things like the, the wrist warmers. I still want to get the gnomes done. I didn't get any gnomes done this year like I had planned. So um, I may kind of start doing those early and just sort of do them bit by bit through the year so that I have them ready for gifts. Um, and I do want to make myself some socks, but, um, I'm trying to see if I grabbed my, oh, there it is. I was going to do my Christmas Eve cast on and it was going to be these, but I have to get the ones done for my brother-in-law and sister done first. So this is the Homespun House, um, Spice Cider, Spiced Cider. Yeah. Um, that's going to be my first socks for me for the year. I didn't put those in my make nine because I kind of make socks throughout the year and I thought I'm not going to like use up one of my make nines for something that I'd be working on anyway. I can wave that around. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's about all that we've got going on for the make nine and works in progress. And where can I put this so I don't drop it off the stitches? <laughs> um, for shop update, I am still puppy wrangling. She is a uh, part golden retriever, part gazelle, and part rabbit. Literally, she can be on all fours and go from the floor right up onto the kitchen chair. And there's no like, <laughs> it's no like leaping like this. It's literally like she just boom and she's on the chair. Um, so we're, we're working on the training with her, which is coming along. She understands the commands, but she's, um, a little pig headed. She also makes piggy snorts when she gets tired, which maybe she is part pig too. I don't know. Uh, she's a sweet, she's a sweet dog, but boy, she's, 
She's uh, adventurous. She doesn't seem to fear anything. She just barrels into things. Um, we've tried, she attacked the vacuum. No fear of the vacuum. No fear of uh, thunder. No fear of lightning. No fear of um, hard winds. We had a really bad wind, windy night. Um, no fear of any kind of loud noises. If you drop something loud near her, it's like she looks at it and then jumps on it. So, uh, she's very confident, very, uh, adventurous and, uh, very stubborn. So, but also very smart. So I'm hoping we can get the training down. I'm looking forward to taking her to the puppy obedience classes but I'm just trying to figure out when they start. They have one session that starts this Sunday, but she doesn't have all of her vaccination boosters yet. So I can't uh, take her to that until all of her booster shots are done, which won't be until the 18th, which is my birthday. <laughs> I'm, I don't have the same level, level of excitement uh, celebrating my birthday now that I'm <laughs> in my fifties as I used to, but I still like to celebrate them a little. Um, so that is kind of the news here. My husband went back to work today. I'm still on vacation until Monday. Um, and then once Monday hits, I've got to get back into writing mode. So no more, mo no more morning knitting. Uh, I've got to get this book finished and get it out. Um, and then let's see what else. I do have two gift cards from the loop that are, uh, just burning a hole in my pocket. So I got those for Christmas from my stepson and my husband. So I'm probably going to hang on to them and use them towards a sweater's quantity of yarn, but I haven't decided yet what yarn I want to use. And I may just wait a bit and see, um, kind of what comes out in the new year. And I think that's kind of it. Um, that's all that's going on here. I'll be back for a full episode, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And I think that will put me back on my regular schedule. Um, but again, I'm probably going to try to keep them around 40 minutes long, not like a full hour, just because when I try to do upload the full hour, my computer crashes because my MacBook Air does not like to process a full hour video for some reason. So anyway, once we get the MacBook Pro, that won't be a problem. But for now, <laughs> you will get me in about 30 to 40 minutes spurts. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, oh yeah, so sorry. Uh, I started talking about shop update. There's not going to be a shop update in January uh, just because I don't want to be using the kitchen while the dog's crate is still kind of in that general area. And I don't want to crate her for the length of time it takes for me to do some dyeing. So one option I am considering is going out to the schooner house and doing it there. Uh, but that means carting a lot of the equipment and everything. So, but I may still do that. I may still do that. Um, but for January, there's still a product in the shop. There is a sale going on right now, which I think goes to January 4th, uh, just kind of an after Christmas sale. And, um, that's, I think 15% off your order. If you buy two skeins of yarn or more, if you buy three skeins of yarn or more, uh, and you're in Canada, you get free shipping. And yeah, I think that's everything. Um, but I will probably do a small update. I still, I've got to buy some more berry yarn because I'm starting to run low, but, uh, I'll probably do a small update for February. And, um, yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> So again, thanks to all the uh, new and returning viewers. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Oh, somewhere here. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be different on my phone than it is when I'm on my screen. So I'm going to say here, but it might be here. <laughs>
So, uh, uh, liking the video helps get the word out about the podcast. And if you want to be notified of any upcoming content, just hit click subscribe and uh, that'll let you know when new videos are up. So until next episode in about a week in a bit, <laughs> week and a half, almost two weeks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what day of the week it is. Wednesday? Thursday? So a week and a half. I will see you guys later and until then, happy knitting. See ya.